Hey there fitness enthusiasts, we're back with another dose of fitness wisdom. Remember to hit that like button and subscribe for more content. Today, we're going to unpack the mystery of optimal sets and reps for each muscle group and underline the importance of a balanced workout routine. We'll explore why 15 to 20 sets per week, 7 to 15 reps per exercise, and the push, pull, legs day split could be your ticket to a more effective workout. And without further ado, let's dive into the world of optimal sets and reps. So, you might ask, why 15 to 20 sets for each muscle group per week? Well, let's break it down. Firstly, it's all about muscle stimulation. You see, when you work out, you're essentially causing micro tears in your muscle fibers. This sounds harsh, but it's actually a good thing. Your body responds by repairing these tears, and in the process, it strengthens and grows your muscles. But here's the thing, your body needs a certain level of stimulation to trigger this process. Too little and your muscles won't grow, too much and you risk injury. That's where the magic number comes in. 15 to 20 sets per muscle group per week provides just the right amount of stimulation for most people. But let's not forget about strength gains. You've probably heard the saying, practice makes perfect, right? Well, the same principle applies to your muscles. The more you work them out, the stronger they get. And again, 15 to 20 sets per muscle group per week seems to hit the sweet spot. It's enough to challenge your muscles and stimulate strength gains, but not so much that you overwork them. Now, on to muscle growth. You might be wondering, isn't muscle growth the same as muscle stimulation? Not quite. Muscle stimulation is what triggers the growth process, but it's not the only factor. You also need to give your muscles enough time to recover and grow. And guess what? Doing 15 to 20 sets per muscle group per week allows for this. It gives your muscles a rigorous workout, but it also ensures they have ample time to rest and grow between sessions. So you see, there's a method to the madness. 15 to 20 sets per muscle group per week isn't a random number. It's a carefully calculated guideline that balances muscle stimulation, strength gains, and muscle growth. And the best part? It's attainable for most people, regardless of fitness level. So the next time you hit the gym, remember, 15 to 20 sets per muscle group per week is your magic number. Now let's talk reps. To be precise, why 7 to 15 reps per set is ideal. When we're in the gym pumping iron, it's not just about how much weight we can lift, but also how many times we can lift it. It's about striking the right balance. And that magic number, my friends, falls somewhere between 7 and 15 reps per set. Now, you might be wondering, why this range? Well, it's because this middle ground is where the magic happens. It's where we see the greatest benefits in terms of muscle endurance, hypertrophy, and strength building. Let's break it down. Starting at the lower end, 7 reps per set, we're talking about strength building. This is where you're lifting heavier weights for fewer reps. You're pushing your muscles to their limits, encouraging them to grow stronger. As we move up the scale towards the middle, around 10 to 12 reps, we're in the hypertrophy zone. This is the sweet spot for muscle growth. You're lifting a moderate amount of weight, but for more repetitions. This encourages your muscles to grow in size, giving you that toned athletic look. And lastly, as we approach the higher end, around 15 reps, we're focusing on muscle endurance. This is where you're lifting lighter weights, but for more reps. It trains your muscles to resist fatigue, allowing you to work out for longer periods without tiring. So you see, each range within the 7 to 15 reps bracket has its own unique benefits. It's not a one-size-fits-all approach. It's about finding what works best for your body, your goals, and your current fitness level. Remember, fitness is a journey, not a destination. It's about progress, not perfection. And within this range of 7 to 15 reps, there's plenty of room for both. So, aim for those 7 to 15 reps per set, and you'll be on your way to seeing great results. Now that we've covered sets and reps, let's talk about the perfect workout split, push, pull, and legs. This workout split is a tried and true method that has stood the test of time, and for good reason. It's all about balance, efficiency, and giving your muscles the right amount of attention they need to grow. Let's break it down. On push days, you'll be focusing on the muscles that are activated when you push. That's your chest, shoulders, and triceps. These muscles work together during pushing movements, so it makes sense to train them on the same day. Next up, we have pull days. These are dedicated to the muscles used when pulling. We're talking about your back muscles and biceps. Again, these muscles are typically engaged together, so it's efficient to train them in one session. Finally, there's the legs day. Here, you'll be targeting your lower body, including your quads, hamstrings, calves, and glutes. 
This day is all about building powerful and strong legs. So why is this split so effective? Well, it's all about muscle recovery. By focusing on different muscle groups each day, you're allowing the others to rest and recover. This is crucial for muscle growth. Remember, it's during rest that your muscles repair and grow stronger. But what does a typical week look like? You might start off the week with a push day, followed by a pull day, then a legs day. After that, you could take a rest day, then repeat the cycle. This way, each muscle group gets worked twice a week, which fits perfectly into our earlier discussion about the ideal number of sets per muscle group. The push-pull leg split isn't just about muscle growth and recovery though, it's also about keeping your workouts fresh and exciting. By switching up the focus of your workouts, you're less likely to get bored and more likely to stay motivated. So if you're looking for a way to optimize your workouts, give the push-pull leg split a try. You'll be giving your muscles the perfect balance of work and rest, enabling them to grow stronger and more defined. With the push-pull leg split, you'll be giving your muscles the perfect balance of work and rest. Now, you might be wondering, what if I do more? What happens if I exceed these numbers? Well, that's a great question and I'm glad you asked. While pushing yourself is a key component to making progress, there's a fine line between pushing hard and pushing too hard. And when it comes to sets and reps, less can often be more. Let's start with overtraining. This is a common pitfall for many fitness enthusiasts who believe that the more they work out, the faster they'll see results. However, this is not the case. Overtraining can lead to a host of problems, including decreased performance, increased injury risk, and even hormonal imbalances. Your body needs time to recover and rebuild after a workout, and continuously pushing it beyond its limits can lead to burnout, both physically and mentally. Now, let's talk about injury risk. The more sets and reps you do, the more you expose yourself to potential injuries. This is especially true if you're not using proper form. As fatigue sets in, your form can start to falter, and this is when injuries are most likely to occur. A pulled muscle, a twisted ankle, a slipped disc, these are all possibilities if you're not careful. Decreased performance is another downside of doing too many sets and reps. Your body has a finite amount of energy to expend, and once it's used up, your performance will start to decline. This means that the quality of your reps will decrease, and you may even start to lose strength and endurance. And let's not forget about the mental aspect. <laughs> doing too many sets and reps can lead to boredom and a lack of motivation. If you're constantly pushing yourself to the limit, your workouts can start to feel like a chore rather than a positive part of your day. Remember, in the world of fitness, more is not always better. Stick to the optimal range and you'll see the best results. So don't be tempted to overdo it. Find your sweet spot, listen to your body, and remember that rest and recovery are just as important as the workout itself. So let's wrap it up, shall we? The sweet spot for muscle development lies between 15 to 20 sets per muscle group each week. Within each set, aim for 7 to 15 reps to maximize growth and strength gains. And don't forget the push, pull, leg split. This routine ensures every muscle group gets the attention it deserves. Overdoing sets and reps? Not beneficial. Keep it balanced, keep it consistent. That's all for today, folks. Remember to hit the like button and subscribe for more fitness wisdom. Stay strong and see you in the next video.